So have you lost a card? Probably. Must not have been no. too emotional because no. you can't think of that. Have you had that happen to you? I was attending a business networking event that you had to pay for. The networking event got hacked and they took all the credit card information from everybody that attended. Mm -hmm. So the credit card company called me and said, have you been buying tennis shoes in Atlanta? Or maybe golf shoes from Taiwan? <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> they said, okay, well, we have suspicious activity on your card, so we're going to cancel your card and issue a new one. That is the time. That is the one time. We were in Mexico five years ago. So we're in Mexico. We flew into Puerto Vallarta, which is on the west side. And then we went to a small, almost island, peninsula. The road to get to the peninsula was basically the only finger of land to get to this area. And it was called Punta Mita. And it was private. That's private in Spanish? No. I have to look it up. Because there's a lot of puntas around. <laughs> all around. <laughs> Central America and South America. Yeah, and sometimes you have to get a shot because of that. <laughs> Too much punta. Yeah. You actually had to clear two security gates to get back to the house we were staying in. I thought that was caramel. <laughs> <laughs> I pass through security gates. That's because I'm the riffraff in Indy, though. We were at a silent auction, and Jennifer and one of her girlfriends bid on a week's stay at this house. It was uh, $10,000. And we took four couples. We all split it four ways. So it was $2,500 per couple. What the silent auction benefit? Humane Society. Oh, nice. Okay. When they were trying to sell this thing, they said it usually rents for $25,000 a week. Wow. And the bids were bubbling in the- 500. People weren't ponying up. And finally, Jennifer throws her paddle up and says, $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> people started choking. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs>